How y'all doing, baby? It is Friday. It is Friday. As a matter of fact, it's late in the evening. By the time you see this, Friday's already over. I imagine half of you done uh, couldn't wait on the wait on me, so you're done. Anyway, it's time to pop the top on a beer. I got my lucky penny San Antonio bottle opener there. And uh, here's to you, baby. Mmm. The beer on ice and put the bud in the bowl, baby. It is Friday. And we need to try to relax a little bit. There's a lot of nervous people in this country. Hell, there's a lot of bad news in the news. But don't worry. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't y'all worry about a damn thing. Donnie's on target, baby. Donnie's going to take care of everything. As a matter of fact, right now he is on his way. Is he on his way to somewhere now? Oh, yeah. He's on his way down to Charleston, South Carolina. That's right. Democratic primaries are tomorrow, and there's going to be a lot of people out voting. So Donnie wants to, as usual, right before there's something going on there, Donnie wants to show up and try to do a little rally there for his clan member. Got got family coming from all over the place, baby, uh, following Donnie around so they can make a big showing. But he's going to be in Charleston, South Carolina tonight. So y'all, uh, if you do have those face masks, you might ought to put them on because the air is going to get a little stenchy down there. Right out of the swamp, baby, smells like shit. But the South Carolina primary is coming, so he's going to run down there and do a little rally there. And what do you think he's going to be talking about? Well, shit, everything, Hillary's emails, lock her up. We could go through the whole list. We know what he's going to talk about. But generally speaking, it's going to be about the Democrats and the evil Democrats and what they're doing right now. Right now with this coronavirus, you know, the coronavirus is all up in the news. Almost, almost a pandemic now, and they're concerned about this. There's more people here in the United States have it now. A lady that didn't have any contact with anybody out in California, boom, she got coronavirus. So people are starting to talk here and be a little concerned about this. But I don't want you to worry because uh, Donnie, Donnie wants you to know that the coronavirus ain't shit. It'll just probably go away. Uh, you know, a lot of people get sick, you know, who cares? You know, that's more or less what I got out of Donnie. And if it is shit, if it is shit, well, it's the Democrats' fault because they're using this. That's right. That's what Don Jr. said. That's what the little turds said on Fox and Friends this morning because that's where all the little turds go to the most anti-American piece of crap TV you can put on your television called Fox Spews there. He was there visiting with the Fox and Friends in the morning, you know, the whole three the three amigos there, that, uh, or the three stooges, you might want to say. No, even the three stooges are smarter than those three idiots. Anyway, Don Jr. was on there this morning, and he says that the Democrats are using the coronavirus against Trump. He speaks about his daddy. Like, yeah, Trump. Yeah, hey, your dad, you mean? Yeah, you little shit. He says that the Democrats are hoping that the coronavirus comes to America and kills millions of people in order they can use it against Trump to get him out of, uh, of office. Are you shitting me, you little turd? You you let that kind of shit come into your mind that you, you, you think people wanted to come here and kill millions. You're a sick little individual there, Donnie Jr. It's the same thing your daddy is, a sick con man out trying to sell shit. You're a fertilizer salesman. That's what you are, son. But he ain't the only one. Anyway, he said that uh, Donnie Jr. says that they will use, we, Democrats will use anything, including the media. They're blaming the media. It's the media hype about it. That's what makes the stock market go down. They're, make, they're using the, the coronavirus to scare the stock market so they can get rid of, it, it's a, it's conspiracy, de, uh, you know, uh, de jour. Uh, of the day for the Republicans, but these not all there. It's a running theme. Rush Limp Dick, the guy that got the Freedom Medal, you know, the uh, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, that now is tarnished and has has lessened its value for everybody else that ever got it because now Rush Limp Dick got one. Are you shitting me, you racist, fat cigar pill popping 
you know, uh, just a disgusting piece of crap. Anyway, Rush Limbaugh's out there that's saying it's a partisan plot to bring down the president. That's what Rush Limpdick's saying, that it's a partisan plot to bring down the president. You can see how these cowards, the disgusting people think. It's not about people dying or getting sick. No, it's all about them. It's about Donnie. This is just a ploy. It's a bunch of bullshit that the Dems are trying to sell you. Don't pay any attention to the body bags that were stacking up. Don't pay attention to people suffering, getting it person to person all over the place. Don't worry about that shit. It, it, it's Donnie's number that count. Donnie used to take pride in the stock market. Every time he turned around, he bragging, oh, look at the stock market. Where are you now, Donnie? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the Democrats' fault. It's probably Obama's fault by now coming out of uh, Donnie's mouth. That's probably what he'll say tonight at the rally. This is all Obama's fault. He planned it this way. It was a conspiracy against me. We have to rise up. Oh, shit. It's going to be a shit show down there, and you know it is. There is crap happening all around the world. And we have to put up with this clown car of an administration we have dealing with a potential pandemic. This is the guy that cut funds to CDC and to the National Institutes of Health. He, he, they don't need, they kicked the guy out of the White House that was in charge of pandemics and, and, and national inter, international threats because they needed more money for the wall. Take money from the military, build a wall. Take money from Puerto Rico, build a wall. Take a money from Health and Human Services, follow the wall, baby. The wall won't protect you from shit like this. Anyway, John Ratcliffe is now going to be the new director of national intelligence. He's a lackey for Donnie, a loyalist deluxe. So, you know, we're going to get more of the same bullshit like we get out of bar. This man is trying to destroy the the, the, the the very institutions that hold our democracy up. He's trying to get his little mold in there so it seeks in and gets into the layers. Get down, right down to anybody that says anything. This is sad, people. You know, tomorrow is the South Carolina primary. Biden and Bernie are more or less facing off. That's the two big there. Everybody's watching going to see what happens and they say biden biden's got the black vote that's what they say well nah not so fast i just got done reading an article a while ago uh about the 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 Amer the black american vote in south carolina is kind of split it seems that the young black voters are more like more likely to vote for for bernie and it is the older black voters that are more tempted to vote for biden so we are, this is a big toss-up tomorrow, and uh, it's going to tell the tale. Somebody's going to come out with a little bit of bragging power before we go into Super Tuesday. If you haven't already, get out and vote if you can. If not, Tuesday's coming up quick. Uh, get out there. Vote for the candidate that you think that you want, not what somebody else told you to vote for or anything like that or, or try to convince you that some, your, your man ain't the right choice. You go out, or a woman. You go out and you vote for who you think would do the right job, in your view, for the United States. That's what a primary is about, baby. And, and we narrow our shit down if we all hold true. So, you know, let's see where it all goes. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be here Sunday. We'll talk. I get what today's. Yeah, today's Friday. I'm off tomorrow. So we'll be here on Sunday evening for a Blue Dot family meeting. And we'll have discussion all about it. I'll try to drop into the Discord chat room. Uh, sometime on Saturday and see what everybody's doing up in there. And if you haven't got Discord, download it, get involved, go to Blue Dot Family and uh, join the conversation. There's plenty of people there to talk. Don't forget, this is our two for blue week. This is for uh, Amy McGrath in Kentucky. Uh, you can donate to her campaign this week. We're trying to funnel funds into those places because we not only need to take the White House, we need to take the Senate. It's very important. So if we could all pitch in a little bit and, and send Amy McGrath a couple of bucks, two, two for blue, baby. Uh, maybe we can help her in her fight in Kentucky. And then we're going to move on to other states where Senate, Senate seats are up 
Uh, Lindsey Graham's on the list. We have a lot of people on the list that we want to help provide assistance for in their campaign. It may not be millions, baby, but we can let them know that we care. Anyway, what else is going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the uh, 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 federal judge struck down uh, Donnie's uh, weight in Mexico uh, policy. For people seeking asylum, they said, okay, you got to come up here, fill out the form, and then go over there back to Mexico and wait. So judge finally struck that down. Be- <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Excuse me, I felt that sneeze coming. No, I ain't starting this shit over. We're doing this shit in one take. Anyway, uh, judge struck it down because it's too dangerous for these people to stay in Mexico when they're seeking asylum from violence. Anyway, glad to see that. There's still work going on, and there are still things to do, baby, so... You know, for you people in uh, South Carolina, the best of you tomorrow voting, get out and vote. You know, get your friends to vote and make sure your mama votes and your daddy votes and everybody votes. Everybody else, we're looking at Tuesday, baby. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. John Bertabo, Blue Dot in Texas, baby. Let that blue light in you shine. Let them know that uh, you're out here to save the world. Because that's what, oh, excuse me. Because that's what they got it. We got to do. Uh, save our country. Save the world. Anyway, I'll see y'all on Sunday night. Blue Dot family, I love you much. Y'all take care. Bye. Oh, wait. Nope. See? I always forget to do this. And then I, right before I shut it off, I noticed that I didn't do that. And it bothers me when I don't hit that button. And now I won't have time enough to let everybody's name go by there. These are the people that that donate to our Patreon page, a dollar a month or, or some give a little bit more uh, to help us stay on the air and stay pay the internet and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we appreciate them very much, those that uh, you see donate through uh, Super Chat and all that. Those, those are the things that come in every month that we can actually pay a bill with that help us keep our, our project going here. And, uh, baby, it's, it's, uh, we appreciate it so much, so much. Anyway, I'm just stalling a little bit. Let some names roll by there because I forgot to hit the damn button. And I don't want to forget Sammy Love or, 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 or oh, Sarah Lopez. See, I know Sarah. I met Sarah. Had had uh, lunch with Sarah. Uh, Stephanie Dean out there in Florida. We appreciate it. Jay, uh, Jay Clayton's fixing to marry that woman. Uh, Tim Barnes uh, and, uh, and Wendy Spaulding going by. William White, thank you very much. Anyway. Uh, those are our sponsors. Thank you, baby. Anyway, y'all take it easy. We'll see you later. Bye.